day people this is Sharpino here welcome you guys to episode number two of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke if you guys are excited for today's episode and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad make sure to like button down below for us because as always your support is greatly appreciated in last episode you guys we did make our way into the Hoenn region as we introduced a new let's play onto the channel and we did get ourselves uh, some Pokemon to get this randomizer kicking. So today, we are here in... Uh, I have no idea... I need to take a step outside for a second. It has been a while. I don't, Petalburg City, that's where we are at. I'm sorry guys, I'm not a Hoenn guy, I'm a Unova guy. So we're here in Petalburg City, we just helped Wally catch his first Pokemon. We got ourselves a few Pokemon ourselves. And now we're ready to move along to the rest of Holland. So let's go ahead and have a look at the team that we're working on today. Also, I just noticed my Banefly wasn't healed from training up. Um, I did chat my Pokemon to level 10 because I didn't know what we are going to be running into. So just in case anything was to befall us, we have level 10s ready to go. So let's have a look at the team that we're rocking out with. So we've got Petrie, the Aerodactyl, our starter for this Let's Play. Wing Attack and Agility. Then we have our Kronos, the Aaron, Headbutt, Mudslap, Tackle, and Harden. And then we have Banefly, the Vananat, Tackle, Supersonic, Disable, and Foresight. So, not a really good thing for Vananat. I mean, look, Bug and Poison are both physical in this game, so I'm hoping it can learn some good moves sometime soon. But if you guys have any help or advice you want to give to me to play Emerald, please leave a comment down below, and any help would be greatly appreciated. Excuse me, let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Ah, uh, yes I am. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry for taking your time. Who the f look are you? Just randomly walking up to people going, Oi! Are you a trainer? No? Just a kid? Righto, move along. If you're gonna throw a Pokemon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ja, ja, ja. Alright. So, we are going up, let's just quickly check the moves again. So we do have, we don't have anything that does a stat, but we do have Kronos that has Mudslap, which could help us. So, 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 so. Let's see if luck will benefit us this way. Next encounter is an Omastar. That's not a bad Pokemon. Not going to disagree with a, an Omastar. We're going we're gonna to get bited. He's going to get withdrawals. Okay. So, will a Pokeball catch an Omastar though? Okay, so we caught ourselves an Omastar. Omastar, the spiral Pokemon. An Omastar uses its tentacles to capture its prey. It is believed to have become extinct because its shell grew so large, or grew too large, making its movement slow and ponderous. I think there's only one nickname, and it's boy, so it's only appropriate that we go ahead and give it the nickname of Lord Helix, because what other nickname would you give to such a Pokemon such as this? It is Lord Helix. Lord Helix the Omastar. Let's go ahead and check out Lord Helix. It's Shell Armor, Naughty Nature, so boost attack, reduces special defense. Which is a bulky Pokemon, so... Hope... No, never mind. Withdraw Constricted Bite. Okay. That's cool. Welcome to the squad. Let's welcome to the squadron, our friend over here. We'll go ahead and put Petrie back up front here. We'll go up and heal up our Pokemons, so we can go ahead and... Maybe get some training done for um, our Lord Helix. But let's see what else we could have encountered on this route here. I'm curious to see what else we could have encountered. Okay, thank god we didn't encounter that. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Plusle, that's just me. A Togepi. That actually was... that's not as good. So Overstar appears to be the best one so far. <gasps> We could have had a Torchic! Oh no! Oh no! I would have loved a Torchic! Oh my god. Truth be told, Torchic is my second favourite. Mudkip is number one. You can't diss the Mudkip. 
Torchic is a close second. And yeah, Trico fans come at me. But Oh man! Oh come on, dude. Ugh. Oh no, I'm not a trainer, that's cool. Leaving footprints in the sand is so much fun! I'm glad you find that so cyclist Scott. You have a core fish. Okay, so the only move we have is bite, and it's dark. Okay. At least we can try to get some training done. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. And we get the flinch though. And don't forget, guys, dark is special in this game. It, it's um because we're going by Gen 3 mechanics here. And Lord Helix is already level 6. Let's go. Uh next up. Ooh. Um I need to check something actually right now. I would use my computer, but then this would stop. I actually need to check this out right away. Does Salamance get Dragon Rage at this level? I just want to double check just to make sure. I don't want to lose a Pokemon this early in the game. But either way, we're going to be fucked either way. So, at least then... <sighs> get out of it. What are you doing? Get out. Salamence Gen 3 move set. Let's see how we go here. And it's stopped for some reason. What the fuck? Okay. So, Salamence Gen 3 move set. I want to make sure I get this right. So, by level up. <sighs> My god, man, we're going to be here for a while. So it has it has bite, headbutt, leer, and bite. That's a bite, headbutt, leer, and rage. Okay, so it doesn't have dragon rage. Thank God. I just had to make sure I didn't want to run into anything. Okay. So rage, that's not going to do anything. So this is actually good. Okay, that should be good though. Oh God, that bite does so much damage. All right, let's go ahead and use a potion. Get the headbutt going and bite. There we go. Lord Helix, get that experience though. Get two levels up. Why not? I just had to make sure this thing didn't have Dragon Rage because if it did have Dragon Rage, I'll explain to you guys what I was going to do. I would have sacked off the Bane Fly and brought in Petrie to try to finish it off. I know that sounds dirty, but guys, I. Look, I'll be honest with you guys, of all the Pokemon that I have in my team right now, Banefly is not my favourite. And it's not by the fact that I don't think it's a good Pokemon. I mean, I don't think it's a good Pokemon, but... Alright, we'll go ahead and get some potions there. There we go. I just think that the other Pokemon can have a greater potential. I mean, Aerodactyl, you know, it's one of the first bosses in the game. Kronos can evolve into a very powerful Aggron. Lord Helix, need I say more? The sea, huh? I wonder what's like at the bottom of the sea. I fished up a tough looking Pokemon. It has this magical quality to it. It surely looks tough. Yes, it does. And before it's like, I don't know, a magic carp or something. <laughs> and this Pokemon got a Pidgeotto. Okay, well, I would definitely say that qualifies. And we're just going to speed up this battle here. Look at that. We're just going to wipe out this goddamn Pidgeotto like it's nothing. And Lord Helix is pretty much caught up with everyone. Because that's just how good Lord Helix is. Strong main forest. What the? I mean, you fished up a bird. It's pretty impressive. I gotta say, that is pretty impressive. Okay. Uh, lady, lady, that seaside cottage is where Mr. Briny lives. He was once a my sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, berries! Petra berries for poison. And iron berries. And we get another encounter. Nice. Okay. What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to actually utilize these berries for what they're worth. We have four of them, actually. So I'll go ahead and put one on Lord Helix, and I'll put one on Petrie, just because I feel like those two, even they're probably our strongest members, let's be real here. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Well, eloquently asked. I, I do accept your challenge, Mrs. Uh, Leader Jimmy. Okay. And a Kingdra! 
Do you get Dragon Rage? I have. I have to make sure. I have to make sure. Like I. I don't know, guys. I. I don't know. That this. That this. That that. that does it get it? Hang on. Kingdra, come on now. I'm pretty sure it gets Dragon Breath, like early on, but let's see. So it's level seven. So it's Moose says Water Gun, Leer, Smoke Screen, and Bubble. So that's okay. That is okay. So we are good to stay in this battle here. Bubble's neutral, so that's fine. It's super effective against Cronus and Petri. So really, Lord Helix here is really doing us a justice right here. It really is. And we asked at the end, so it must have been a speed tie this whole time. And Lord Helix now level 10. Look at that. So level 5 like 2 minutes ago, and now it's level 10. Amazing. And we got 1400, so we got paid. Alright, now we're in Petalburg Woods. Let's go and put Kronos at the front. Again, we're going to try to... Oh, we got a good encounter. Hopefully not a bad encounter. Let's see how we go. Wow! <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, well, that's species because we have Aaron right here. So we must try again. So let's try again. So that would have been cool if we didn't get Aaron on the first route, or the second route. We could have got it here. Ooh, Tauros. An, uh, gen, another Gen 1 classic. Not gonna lie, not bad at all. So far we're getting some Gen 1 love over here. I mean, getting those mud slaps here, mud slaps there. Yeah, this guy, he can't see us. Alright, that's good, that's good. Okay. Let's go for a Pokeball. Can we catch this Tauros? This Tauros! And a Pokeball. Nope, it just does not want to want to stay in there. Not one little bit. And for some reason, that was... The <laughs> Apparently the second one was like, yeah, alright. Yeah, I gave you one shake, that's cool. Tauros, the Wild Bull Pokemon. It is not satisfied unless it is rampaging at all times. If there is no opponent for Taurus to battle, it will charge at thick trees and knock them down to calm itself. I'm sure there's more therapeutic ways to, to calm yourself. And... I'm gonna go ahead and call you... Nandos. That's why I call I call it either Toritos or Nandos or El Toro. That's what I usually call. It. But I'm gonna call you Nandos. So we got Nandos the Toros. Let's go ahead and check out our Nandos over here. Docile with Intimidate. So Intimidate's actually pretty good as an ability. Um, Tackle and Tail Whip. Okay. Let's see what else we could have encountered though. Besides the Laron, another Toros. Okay. And we can't escape from a Taurus. Seriously. Okay, you need to stop. Alright, so we have Lair on again. So, was those your two? Ooh, we could have had a Golem. Um. Considering our team has a lot of Rock types already, I don't think that the um, Taurus was actually a bad idea. And we got ourselves a Macho Brace, so if we want to start training up EVs. Ooh, we could have had a Tangler. But unfortunately, Tangrowth is not in the generation, so that probably would have been the best Pokemon if we're being real here. And we get a free rare candy. I love it. Okay, so... So far, loving the Gen 1 love that I'm getting over here. It's just... Even though we're in Holland, we are getting a bit of a Kanto feel over here. Just Cantonian after Cantonian after Cantonian. That's just what we're getting over here. Just some Cantonian vibes. Let's go ahead and put Dandos out front here. But we'll give Lord Helix a bit of a break. A Fero. What is with these Gen 1 Pokemon? Can we stop? I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, go, go. My bug of Pokemon team. In before, it's like a team of legendaries. Well, at least it's a bug Pokemon. At least it's got that right. Alright, so Shuckle is the first Pokemon. Actually, is this just a pure Rock type? I'm pretty sure this was just a Rock type. I can't remember. I, I, I'm not thinking right now. 
All right, let's go ahead and bring in a Petri. All right, withdraw. Well, this is a way to prove it. So it is, in fact, a um, bug and rock type. Okay, cool. Next up is going to be a Boltoy. Boltoy is actually one of my favorites um, based off the um, the Snakewood Let's Play because that was my starter in that game. That was actually a pretty good game. I, got, I won't lie, guys. It was a pretty good game. All right, next up is Sunflora. So we're just getting the, the, the ripest of destructions over here. No one can handle the power of my Petri over here. And Porygon. And you're tracing my Rockhead. Okay. If you're Porygon 2, that'd be, that'd be good though. I have all these Pokemon, but I couldn't win. Well, to be fair, you would have won either way. So, you know. Alright, Tangela. Yeah, we're going to just skedaddle. Thank you. A Twisted Spoon, which is good for psychic attacks. And the Fero we can run away from. Thank you. So we head over here, and oh no, there's a boy over here. Hmm. Not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? Can't say I have. I really love that Pokemon. Arr, I was going to ambush ya, but you had to dawdle on Petalbug Woods forever, didn't ya? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. And... Hey! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please! Huh? What do you think you're doing? What? You're going to protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Okay, so we're taking on a Team Gruntle Grunties over here. Rich Kid Leo has a Metatite. Now, the question is, would Metatite have a level, have a fighting type move at this level? I don't think it would. So I'm going to go for Tackle. And it goes for Meditate. Okay. Confusion. Okay, so it doesn't have anything. Okay, that did 9 damage. Uh, and it goes Meditate again. So that's fine. And we win. Okay, great. Let's go Nendos. Get some experience for you. Go to level 6. Very nice. Oh, and that's it. Oh. You're kidding me. You're tough. Grr, you got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Ugh, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know. I'll give you a Great Ball as my thanks. Oh, it's actually a Great Ball. I didn't randomize that. Okay. Didn't that Team Aqua thug say they were after something in Rustboro too? They did say that. Uh-oh. It's a crisis. I can't be wasting any time. Um... Well, you did thank me, so I'll give you that. You're there. Your Pokemon doing okay? If your Pokemon are weak, you should stay on tall grass. Um, kid, sometimes you can't really avoid that. I mean, it's just... It is what it is. Then we get an Ultra Ball that's just sitting over here. Sitting pretty. Nice. If you take Bug Pokemon to school, you get to be instantly popular. Mm, I don't know how true that is. I mean, I've never heard of someone becoming ragingly popular. The Brava. Another Pokemon I have to be on the lookout for. Basically Dragon types. All Dragon types you just have to be wary of. Okay, so... Let's go with the Brava. If I can spell it properly. Okay. So Vib Brava's moveset at level 6 is... Sand Tomb, Faint Attack, Sand Attack, and Bite. So, only one of them are physical. The rest are special. Hmm. But I don't think his Faint Attack should do too much damage. We're being real here. Bite does four damage. Look at that. Like, we've got this. Faint Attack has got the same base power as Bite, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that both 60? Yeah, there you go. So there you go. We're fine. Nando's got this, let's go! And Nando's is level 7. And what's we'll send out? A Lickitung. Lickitung! Okay, now Lickitung might be a little bit harder to kind of face off against. Let's go ahead and bring in Kronos. 
As it goes for lick. Okay, that's fine. We go for a big old headbutt. And we do get the paralyzed. That is rather unfortunate. And even though we are paralyzed, we outspeed lick time. Unless we went for like a negative priority move. So that's a thing. An antidote. A how appropriate at this part of the game. A Cacleon. Hmm, a Cacleon. Well, it's a good thing we didn't count a Cacleon, because I'm not a big fan of Cacleon, not gonna lie. Um, I'm just not, I'm sorry. If you'd like Cacleon, my bad. And we have more berries over here, some more cherry berries for paralysis. Which we actually do need that for right now, so, you know, that'll be cool. Um, is this where you get the bottle for... The Whelmer Pale, there we go. In, um, you know, I know in Sinnoh it's the Squirt Bottle. Oh, no, that's Gen 2, sorry. Alright, let's have a look over here. Uh, Max Ether. Very nice. Now, this is still part of the same route from before, so this is not a new encounter. And you can see we've already got a Shell Bell. You know what? That is actually a very good item to use, or to give. I'm going to give that to Nandos, because why not? Any other hidden items over here? A Soul Dew. Oh man, now you're just begging me to catch a Latias now, aren't you? You really want me to catch a Latias or a Latias. That would be nice. If we can get one of those, yo, that would be amazing. Alright, so we have a trainer over here. So let's go ahead and battle him. Oh sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Oh good, because I actually need money, so that's cool. A mighty Aina. Ooh. Okay, this is uh, both intimidating, very, very intimidating. Alright, go for a tackle, it doesn't do too much. Uh, we're gonna go for a tail whip, as you go for a sand attack. Okay, so now my attack is basically back to normal. Bite is special, we miss our tackle. We miss another tackle. Okay, uh, no, we are not doing this right now, you can stop that. And I forgot Helix, your only move is bite, and he's a dark type, so you need to step off. Get out of here! And Peach is level 11. And then it's level 8 and learnt Rage. Um, that's cool and all, but you need a better move. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure, I will battle. Um, thanks for the acceptance. Pineco! Okay. Now, Pineco, I know you get access to Explosion. I'm not taking any chances. Protect. Okay, that's fine. Tackle. Fine. You miss your tackle. Ah, oh, I wonder what that feels like. I just did that last one. Okay, next Pokemon is a Pseudo Wudo. You mimic my headbutt, and I'm paralyzed. Oh, that's that's annoying. And I've been paralyzed three turns in a row. You need to stop. And I'm flinched. And I'm paralyzed. And now I'm finally getting some mud slaps going over here. Let's go. Well, I'm paralyzed again. And we finally take down the Pseudo Wudo. Get out of here. Get out of here! God damn it. What the hell, man? You're making me beg for this shit? So we'll go ahead and heal you. We'll go ahead and heal up you. And we might as well use the Cherry Berry because we need to get rid of this paralysis that is really irritating Kronos over here. So let's go ahead now and head over here. Now I do know that we do have a, a double battle coming up. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together! I'll bet you do. Okay. Oh boy! Oh boy! That's a Jirachi! Uh... Okay. Um... Not the Pokemon you really want to face off against. But we do have... Man! Jirachi is here. I wonder how much damage is going to do. Oh, okay, that does a little bit of damage. That, that's fine. Um, so that is totally fine. Get a the tackle. Skip them goes down to low. We do can confuse though, and we hurt ourselves to confusion. Orange Berry is going to kick in, but I don't like my chances of surviving a confusion plus a uh, a hit to yourself. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Kronos, as we're going to get another tackle down. And my Shell Bell is going to activate. Nice. And Kronos level 11. Very nice. Want to go for Wish. Okay. 
We basically have to kill this thing right now. I don't think we are going to. So not very effective. Get a little shell bell action over here. But with the uh, steel type here, and in comes the wish. So basically I have to do this over and over and over again to make sure that we can get rid of this Jirachi, which we do. Good stuff right there. Champions Bob and Ann. I didn't know they were champions. I mean, have a Jirachi, I suppose you would have to be a champion. Alright, so we've got more berries over here and a greeny. Lap of berries for those PPs. More paralysis recovery. If you see berries growing, please take them. Here, I'll share some with you. It's a Chesto berry. Okay, well that, that's that's great, thanks. Um, I think there's something over here. A choice band. <gasps> wow. That would actually be very handy. Very handy dandy. An item whereby you can get more power. Just by restricting your item choice, that would be mighty fine if I do say so myself. I mean, right now I could really put that on Petrie because um, Petrie's only got one move, so I don't see why it would be a bad idea to really give it to uh, Petrie, so well, there you go. Attention! <laughs> <laughs> Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you're a good student will be evident of the way you use this item. And we got sorts of quick claw. Okay, so the quick claw I think can go really onto um, Kronos, because I think Kronos is really a very fast Pokemon, if we're being real here. Alright, so did you know this? If you you can have a two and two battle. Oh yeah! This is the generation they brought all this in. I remember. The training school is excellent. If you studied there, you could even become a gym leader. Roxanne and gym leader really knows a lot about Pokemon. She's really strong too. I'm actually looking forward to that. Well, I mean, it won't be this episode. But it will definitely be in the next episode. You know? Oh, who am I kidding? I want to fight the gym right now. Let's go. Let's go to the gym. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do all this. Don't take our gym trains lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Alright, we have a level 10 bay leaf. Okay. That's level 10. That is in fact a level 10 bay leaf. And that does 10 damage. Growl me. You're gonna growl me. You're gonna growl me again. Stop producing my attack there, bay leaf. Down goes the bay leaf. Now, I am concerned that the trainer Pokemon are in fact level 10. But we should be okay. I feel like we should be okay. We've got level 10. Let's go and put Lord Helix next. Oh, it's double battle. Oh, shit. I was not expecting that. Okay, so we have a 2v2. You have an Executor and an Illumise. Um... Okay, Lord Helix needs to dip because of that Executor. Let's go ahead and use a tackle on the Illumise. Get a little shell back action. Tackle, not very effective. And barrage on pick. They were gonna gang up on me. Oh yeah, but then they're gonna forget about the levels of these Pokemon. So we should be okay. I'm gonna go for a wing attack. It's choice band boosted. Yo. Yo. Oh my god. Peachy's gonna be a fucking baller with the choice band wing attack? Dude. You wanna talk about getting some hype? Is gonna get some goddamn hype. Uh, next up is gonna be a another Porygon. Hey, and you traced my Intimidate, but it didn't work. I don't get how that works, but I mean, we'll, I'm sure we'll find out. So, choice being wing attack. How much damage are we doing to a Porygon? Is what I want to know. We're almost gonna kill it. Okay, so. This, this Illumise is only just going for Sweet Sense, and Porygon now decides to go for a Tackle. We'll go for a Wing Attack and a Tackle. Down goes the Porygon. And down goes the Illumise. Last Pokemon that you have... It's a Meowth. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way you're living that. No, no way would you ever live that. No. And here's Roxanne. Okay, so we'll quickly go ahead and just potion up Nando's because it's a little bit damaged. And I honestly think that Petrie should lead things off here. I really think it'd do it because it's choice banded wing attack. It's pretty powerful. Let's be real, guys. It's so powerful. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rossboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you be kind to demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Okay, here we go. Gym battle number one in the Hoenn region. First Pokemon off the bat, it's a Diglett. Level 12. Okay, so we should still be fine. Choice Band Wing Attack is just molly whopping people. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Swine up is next. That is ground and ice. Level 15. So this is his... I believe this is her ace. Goes for powder snow. That is super effective. But I don't believe swine up has a lot of special attack. That did only 16 damage. So... And we're going to see a potion come through here. That's fine. We are speed swine up. This ain't no problem. Look at that. And you're going to use another potion. You're going to waste all your potions while I sit here just wing attacking the life out of you. I'm here. I'm good to stay here all day if you want me to. Down goes the swine up. Yo. Hurrah. Nice. <laughs> and last Pokemon's a spinner rack. Dudes. <laughs> that was a crit. As if to say, spinner rack can eat the dick. <laughs> so, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rule state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept this official Pokemon League Stone Badge. Hot fire. And we have ourselves the Stone Badge. The stone badge heightens the attack of your power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. Team 39 contains Magicoat. Ugh. That's terrible. Come on. How are you going to do me like that? That's a, such a duty TM. A duty TM. Big fat duty. It's doo doo. It do the doo doo. Get out! Get out my ar! Get out of my way! Arr. Wait, please don't take my goods. Okay, well that sounds like an adventure for the next episode. So let's go ahead and heal up here. And can I just say, aside from getting some pretty good Pokemon as a randomizer, the fact that we got that choice band, I think that choice band. Aerodactyl is molly whopping some bitches in this fucking let's play. I mean, you guys just saw how much damage it did. I mean, Patriot by itself could probably take most of what's in front of us. Of course, if we get put in front of a Registeel or an Agron, then we're talking a different story. But anyways, you guys, hope that you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you like button down below because as always, your support is very appreciated. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke as we do... Find out why this Team Aqua Grunt has stolen the goods, and we get some more encounters in the next episode. So, what other Pokemon could we possibly find to add to our squad? So, until next time, I see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!